everyone and thank you for checking out our machine shop tour. I'd like to thank Practical Machinist for, for coming out here and, uh, and giving us this opportunity. Anyways, my name is Joe Barros and this is TDC Manufacturing. A uh, little bit of backstory, my parents bought TDC in 2007. Uh, before that, they used to just be gaskets and dies for racing go-karts. And since then, my dad had bought some CNC machines to make some go-kart parts for that. I started working for my dad here in about 2012, you know, just kind of doing a little stuff around the shop, ended up falling in love with it. And then in 2018, me and my wife officially bought the company from my parents. And uh, we have really been focused on growth and so far we've, uh, we've done really well. So follow along as we give you a tour of the shop. All right, so this is our, our metal cutting area uh, for when we have raw material coming in. Uh, we have our automatic bandsaw here that will, uh, you just set, set the length and it'll just cut up however many you want. Back behind me over here, we have our raw material stock. We like to keep just some random sizes in stock. So if we have any uh, one-off parts or we need prototype parts, most of the time we have something we could use here, um, whether it be, you know, even if it's the wrong size, we can cut it down to the right size so that uh, we can have faster turnaround times. When it comes to production though, we will order the right size in uh, and then most of the time we'll put it on this one or we have another saw if it's some smaller quantities that we'll cut here. So over here, right here behind me, we also have for our, one, of the, one of the last processes would be tumbling. So we have customers that uh, require all the edges and all the parts to be deburred. Uh, we have this guy here that will go ahead and do that for us. So this right here, we have our enclosure for our compressor. It works really well. We actually uh, lined it with towels and then put some netting on to keep the towels in there and it keeps the sound down a lot. So we're inside the shop. We don't really notice it. We just kind of have a mild rumble, but it's one of the uh, one of the nice shop improvements. So if you are worried about your compressors being loud, we've had this thing in here for years and we haven't had any issues with it. All right, so this is our, our die cutting area. This is what the dies look like. These are for the go-kart gaskets. Once they, uh, once they punch out, they look like this. Uh, it's one of the original items that we still do um, from when my dad had purchased TDC in 2007. We still have customers that will come to us for, call it job shop die cutting, where they need a bunch of gaskets cut out. We can go ahead and do that. We've cut gaskets out of uh, aluminum, thin aluminum, paper, and mylar as well in various thicknesses. Um, behind me over here is our toolbox. It has all our dies in there. On top of that is our router that we use for our packaging. And then right up above us over here is our warboard. The warboard's pretty cool. We just are getting it set up. Um, but what it is is we can be at one of the other computers and we can update this Google spreadsheet so we can see what needs to get done, when it's due, what process it's in, um, you know, has it been programmed yet? Uh, so it just has kind of all the details for the job or jobs that are running throughout the shop. Over on the other side, we also have our TDC uh, as our busy board. So if we are running long machine times, we kind of, you know, we could do stuff like laser some parts that just came in or assemble some of our parts, getting them ready to ship so that we don't have to assemble them before shipping. But it's really been nice. Uh, it runs off of a Raspberry Pi computer and it just has a Google spreadsheet that's open. And again, we can update that from any of, any of the other computers around the shop. So this is one of the original CNC machines that we've uh, that we purchased. It's a it's a 2007 uh, SL20 lathe. You know it's 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 a basic lathe. It doesn't have any of the live tool. It served us really well. But one of the next machine purchases we're going to do is probably going to be a live tool lathe. So this is our most recent purchase. Uh, this is a brother uh, R650 with a 41 tool. It has a 16,000 RPM spindle with a high torque. This thing has been a production beast. Uh, each table on it has two fourth axis and it will rotate once it's done with a part. So over here, the operator can be loading it while the machine's running on the inside. So this is another brother we have here with the, it's the uh, S700X1. Uh, this is another really, really fast, really accurate machine. It's a BT30 taper, uh, 16,000 RPM. 
So when we're cutting aluminum, we're pushing feeds of about 500 inches a minute. It also has a fourth axis on here, and then it also has a tail stop, so we can do some longer fourth axis work. Both brothers' machines are equipped with a spindle probe so that we can keep our precision on point. Uh, one thing you'll notice about all of our workstations is that each machine is equipped with a toolbox. And what this is, is that we have all the tools necessary to operate the machine and the fixtures. So this is one of the original machines here. It's a Haas VF2, it's a 2007. It's pretty standard. It's, uh, it only has a 7,500 RPM spindle with the umbrella tool changer. Um, it's definitely not as fast as the Brothers, but it works really well with all the carding stuff that we're doing. I mean, it's very, very accurate, and so we still use it almost on a daily basis. All right, so this is the programming area. Uh, we use Fusion 360 and we use SolidWorks to do all our fixturing and programming. You know, we run the two screens so that we can have a print on one side while we're building on the other side, and it just really comes in handy with the workflow. Uh, I also like having it right here around the machines so that uh, while we're making adjustments or changing the program a little bit, it's real quick. We can, we can jump right to the machine, change out a tool or change out a process and get right back in it, and we can send the programs uh, wirelessly to the brothers. Uh, we still use USB for the Haas. Okay, so this is our soft jaw area. Uh, recently, we have updated all the vices in all of the mills to dual station vices. And so uh, with that, we had to remake a lot of our soft jaws. So as we make them for our jobs and for our customers' jobs, they're gonna get organized in here by job, customer, and uh, you know, kind of like a miscellaneous. All right, so as we come in here to the back of the shop, this is our print room slash clean room. So this is our big, big vinyl printer here. Um, so with this, we do, uh, we do a lot of go-kart numbers. We also do labels for customers for their parts that we machine. And then even just, you know, call it slap stickers for companies as well. So if we come back over here, we do the printing over here. This is where we laminate. So um, some customers want to put a laminate on their sticker. And what that does is that it keeps it uh, protected from solvents and UV rays and everything else to help the sticker last a lot longer. We have our photo booth here for taking product pictures. This is the laminator for the stickers here. And then we also have our hats. We do leather patch hats. Um, as well, and so that's where our hat machine is done. So pretty much the things that need to stay clean, it's what we keep back here. We also have our 3D printer right here. And what this lets us do is we can do quick prototypes, test fits, and stuff like that. All right, so right here we have our tooling cart. This is, uh, this is kind of where we stage our tools. We have our, our Cat 40 over here and the BT30 on this side. And then uh, it's really easy to get over here. This is where we actually are, are setting up our tools and everything else this is where we keep our tools. We have all of our collets organized in here. You know, we have our end mills down here. We have our drill bits, whether they're carbide, through spindle. Um, you know, we have a more of our end mill stuff and then we have our taps. So basically all, all the tools that we need to use are here, uh, along with the tools to take them in and out of their collets. Um, and then right next to that, we have our inspection area. We have our granite plate here. And then we also have uh, a microscope here for really getting that fine detail work. And here we have our, our, a lot of our tools for that as well. Uh, gauge pins, no-go gauges, uh, micrometers, pretty much anything you would need to do your inspections are gonna be in this toolbox here. Over here, we kind of have like our, our assembly toolbox. Um, and we have a lot of our hardware and stuff that we use for a lot of our parts in here. You know, right here, we're just kind of showing off some of our stuff. Most of the time, our in-process parts are gonna be scattered around here, but um, you know, these are kind of various parts that we do here. Um, you know, these are our coolant manifolds for the brothers. We have our magnetic part stop, um, and then some other kind of odds and ends that we've done as well. You know, this was all made out of a single piece of billet here for this guy. Um, we've done some trophy work too. So, I mean, you know, if you're into IndyCar, you might've seen uh, some of these on the podium. 
Um, and then right next to it, we have our sanding area just for you know finishing or deburring or other little odds and ends is what we'll do here. Um, and then we also have our drill press here, um, one of the other manual machines. So this right here is our laser engraving area. Um, it lets us do deep engraving on parts along with laser etching, like on this part right here. This is, a, this is actually a hard anodized aluminum manifold for our Speedio. And then we have a slight deep engrave uh, of our logo. Uh, we've also done deep engraving for our customers as well, so they can get their product branded. All right, so in here is our uh, Cerakote area. Um, we have our baking oven so we can bake it. Um, we have a deep sink for cleaning out the parts with some odds and ends, you know, bins and other stuff for different various size parts that we need to do. And then if you come over here, this is our little spray booth right here. So we'll spray the, the Cerakote before we put it in the oven. So this here is our shipping area. This is where we package all our parts. We can make bags based on uh, whatever size we need. And then we also have our boxes that are ready to go. And then we have like our bubble wrap over here as well. But this is where we'll package all the parts to make sure that uh, during shipping, none of it gets damaged so that our customers get a 100% beautiful part. This right here is Remington. This is our shop dog. She's the worst guard dog ever because she just wants all the loves. <laughs>